The invisible hand is a phrase that was introduced by Adam Smith in his great book, The Wealth of Nations, in which he uh, uh, talked about the way in which individuals who intended only to pursue their own interests were led by an invisible hand to promote the public welfare, which was no part of their intention. It's a very simple concept. It says that uh, prices basically reflect all available information so that in a strict view of the theory, it would say it's basically impossible to beat the, beat the market. You're always paying a fair price, basically. Yesterday, Wall Street suffered its worst losses since just after 9-11. In other words, you found that your, your view of the world, your ideology, was not right. It was that, not working. Was, it had a, that, precisely. You know, I, that's precisely the reason I was shocked, because I had been going for 40 years or more with very considerable evidence that it was working exceptionally well. What just happened? First, financial markets around the world stopped working. Financial markets failed. They seized up. They stopped working. They went kaput. And here's the interesting thing. The dominant academic theories for the past 50 years of how markets work and how economies work don't really leave any room for that possibility. You don't have bubbles, you don't have crashes, they're not part of the discussion, nobody has good explanations for them. So this is what I'm calling the myth of the rational market. The embarrassing thing is it's like nobody saw this coming. Well, actually, a few people. I predicted something like this. There's others who have, but we didn't seem to have much uh, audience. This is an earthquake in the banking system, an earthquake of the Richter scale level of 7 or 8. Is it the worst you've ever seen in your career? Oh, by far. So we've had these bubbles and crashes all this time. So why did we come up with this theory of how markets work that didn't have any room for it? And that's what my book is about.